Hello Tech Family, welcome back to another video. Today, what we are going to discuss is what is the Internet of Medical Things. Let's start this. The Internet of Medical Things, mainly abbreviated as IOMT, a subset of Internet of Things technologies, comprises Internet for devices and applications used in medical and healthcare information technology applications. IOMT devices connect, connect patients, doctors, and medical devices, including hospital equipment, diagnostic gear, and wearable technology, by transmitting information over a secure network. Much like Journal of IoT Devices, IOMT, also known as Healthcare IoT, uses automation, sensors, and machine based intelligence to reduce reliance on human intervention during routine healthcare procedures and routine monitoring operations. By providing patients and providers with enhanced access to patients' health care information, IOMT reduces the need for unnecessary doctor's office and hospital visits. IOMT also lowers costs for both patients and providers. In 2017, Frost and Sullivan projected that the Internet of Medical Things IOMT markets would grow at a compound annual rate of 26.2% hitting $72 billion by 2021. That estimate appears quite low today. The COVID-19 pandemic has driven an exponential rise in IOMT, IOMT with quarantine and stay-at-home orders, dramatically accelerating trends in telemedicine and telehealth. As the IOMT market matures, Telehealth and telemedicine will continue to transform healthcare as we know it, allowing for more through and accurate diagnosis, more timely care and cost, saving for consumers and provide alike. What are telehealth and telemedicine? The difference between telehealth and telemedicine is that telehealth is defined as the use of digital information and communication technologies such as computers and mobile devices to assess healthcare services remotely and manage your healthcare. As with the term healthcare, telehealth comprises a broad spectrum of activities including patient doctor communication, diagnose, ongoing monitoring and education and counseling. If we talk about telemedicine, telemedicine on the other hand has generally been used to define a more limited spectrum of technology-based healthcare tools that provide clinical services, namely the remote diagnosis and patient monitoring. When telemedicine emerged in the 20s, the technology was limited in scope. Early, early telemedicine applications were strictly clinical in nature limited to services such as screening a potential patient over video or monitoring an ICU patient's vital signs from a remote location. As telemedicine evolved, its capabilities quickly expanded beyond the strict boundaries of clinical medicine, result, resulting in the broader term telehealth. Today, telehealth is, a broad, is a broad enough to include doctor training and administrative meetings held in a video chat room in addition to clinical services. Let's talk what does the Internet of Medical Things lead to telehealth and telemedicine. While telehealth and telemedicine both refer to a large group of technologies, services and strategies, IOMT refers specially to the devices that allow them to function. Without IOMT connectivity, telehealth would be largely impossible. At the same time, an IOMT device is fairly useless by itself. For example, a device that records a patient's blood pressure every day and uploads that reading to the cloud does nothing on its own to improve that patient's health. A border telehealth solution is required to interrupt those reading diagnoses, a condition device, a treatment plan, deliver therapies, and monitor the patient over time. While some of these efforts may be possible through artificial intelligence, machine learning, and other computer-based technologies at some point, an actual human physician will need to get evolved. As the capability of IOMT devices continue to advance, these technology will become even more important with the medical community and general. Let's discuss a few benefits of IOMT. 
Number one is personalized precision diagnosis and therapeutics. Many IMT devices are designed to track patient vital sign in detail and depth to a degree that wouldn't be possible during a brief office visit. Next is remote medical treatment and device. The very nature of IOMT devices means they can capture data from anywhere. Third is patient empowerment. IOMT devices such as wearable and smart cycle lets patients take control of their vital giving them information they would otherwise have to visit a doctor to get. That's what for